Hey guys, Justin Air back with Renfengu Nation, and this past uh, month in June has been super busy, but and I needed to like prep for the YCS. So I actually played in the remote dual YCS, and very very sad, I got 34th place with a 9-2 record, which is like really sad because I had a topping record, but you know tiebreakers were in my favor. Uh, I ended up playing actually a uh, prank kids for this event, which not um uh Drytron. Drytron was like kind of appealing to play, but I didn't like how it had a huge target on its back because it was perceived as like the strongest go first deck. So a lot of people are going to be siding like a lot of hit for like Cycle Reader and maybe Draw. So I decided to take a deck that I felt was really good because it only needed one card to play. So this is why I chose Prank Kids. So because it only takes one card to play, it kind of like has the same effect like Pure Zoo, where you can fill your deck with a bunch of like good stuff cards like Hand Traps, Pot Desires and just extra flex cards as you want. So, uh, deck was really good. Uh, my two losses are actually to Tri Brigade. One of them was quite unfortunate because we were about to uh, tie, but I was playing like super fast and I got a Mega. And instead of banishing the card, I accidentally shuffled it into my deck like a minute before time, and we would have tied. So it was quite unfortunate. And my other uh, Tri Brigade loss, I went first and I bricked and. He ended up winning the match because like he was able to outpace me. But all in all, I played six against six Tri Brigades this event. And I beat four of them. And then I played against a Drytron and then just some other decks. But it was just like all in all, I think like the deck was like pretty well. I might have changed like maybe one or two cards, but let's let's get into it. So for uh, the monsters, I started off with three Ash, uh, because Ash is just in my opinion like the best hand trap because it's the most versatile against the field. So I liked it in like any deck I played, I wanted to just play three Ash. Uh, I like three Ghost Spell because Ghost Spell was actually like super strong against a uh, Tri Brigade, against Revolt specifically. So because I'm playing Prank Kids, my deck kind of loses to if my normal summon gets like stopped or if something happens to it. So having Ghost Spell to answer that issue was actually very nice. Um, Bell was also just versatile good against a uh, Striker, which I thought would have been like more represented than it was, but it turns out Tri Brigade was the most represented deck. Had I known that, I would have probably played Droplet to my deck, but as you see, that I main Twin Twister, but uh, yeah. So I played Ghost Spell because it was just like another versatile good hand trap, just like Ash. Uh, 3 Nibiru. This is more of like a idea of like, I recognize decks that put up a lot of monsters I want to be able to answer, and I wanted another strong hand trap against Drytron that was not Drill. So Nibiru fit that bill, and also it solidified the Salomon Great matchup because they can't really play around the brew and make the best effective play. So with that, I decided just to main three of it because it was going to be my deck list anyway, anywhere. And then the last central I played was Impermanence because I really like it against the Tri Brigade deck because you hit their, either their Appaloosa or you can hit their normal summon of what they're using the effect on to summon a uh, Bear Brum. It as a six card is also just really strong to be able to answer like a already established threat. The only bad thing that I was running into with Imperm though was when I would be drawing a card off pranks, like I kind of wished it was like a Veiler because I'd be drawing into Imperm. But in hindsight, like I would still play through Imperm. I would just probably try to fit like another hand trap in somewhere else. But anyway, so for the prank kids monsters, I played uh, three Dropsies, three Fansies, uh, three Lampsies, two Roxies, and two Plays. So 13, I did the math on it. I think it was like an 89% chance we started to open up a prank kid, which is about like same numbers as like Pure Zoo was back in the day. So like it was between like 13 to 14 was like the threshold of the number I wanted. So if I had to put a 14th name, I would probably put it in a third place because it's the best one going second. Uh, aside from that, like I think it's pretty standard on that. Uh, I played two pranks because it's a card I always want to have. And because I play Desires, I never want to like banish both, like banish it and not be able to have access to recycling in my deck. So that's pretty important that I played two. A three pandemonium this is essential i think it's the best way you can play through ash if you open two kids because then if they ash your initial star in your meow you can use pandemonium to fuse and continue playing uh three desires in my opinion this was the best like card to like start your turn with in the deck because when you play blind game one and you play desires nine out of ten times every opponent's gonna ash it because they don't know what you're playing um against tri brigade like you usually would start with the fractal first if you had it and you would try to mitigate and play around stuff so if they then ashed my desires uh then my prank could usually go through because not a lot of people are meaning mice for this format um talents 
that was another reason I liked it too. Talents would let me draw into like another kid, the fusion spell or pranks to make the extender to make Dodo or Rocket Ride to be able to continue playing through Astromeister. Talents with Desires and a kid is just insane. Because if you start returning Desires to Astrid, you get to use Talents to look at the hand rip a card and you get to make the best effective play over a use your Pandemonium first turn, not fearing Nibber Bell. Use Rocket Ride, revive the two, then Dodo add back, and then you'd have Bow Wow still back on the field. So this is just like really powerful just to have in the deck for that. Like I said, this is probably like the card like is like very flexible, but I kind of explained the reasoning. It gives your deck all the time a good inherent out to Dragoon. And it's just like really strong in that regards. Um, so the instant and the call by, obviously these are very staple in the deck. Instant is the best extender in the deck. And if they don't hand trap you, instant lets you make Toad your first turn, which is insane. Uh, call by is nice too, because it just protects you from Ash, Meister, and Bell. So I think it's just like, a staple in like almost every deck i would say and then this was like the super flex card which is the twin twisters i wanted some back row hate because mainly i kind of respected just the back row decks in general and like striker more also you don't want to like just like automatically lose some mystic mind game one so it's kind of nice because say for instance my hand was like twin impermanence going second against tri brigade too i could like twin force the revolt and then just uh imperm the Appaloosa, and i could just play the game just regardless they would have had to have a hand trap to to counter like to pick apart my board but if i hand trap them then they're going to be playing on almost no cards because they're essentially putting back cards to get the revolt and stuff so if they just set one card it's an imperm i can play through imperm because i could just make a second dodo and tag it so that's it for the main deck i think the main deck is like pretty well constructed i might just make a couple like changes for going on in the format now if like i expect tribe to be the most represented deck so uh side deck uh, one Pankatops, it's just like a really nice going second. Uh, three Cycle Reader, this I, this is better than Droll against uh, Drytron. Uh, the reason being is that to combo through Droll, it's a three card combo. If they start with Zeta, they grab the Ritual Spell and they can still end on Draconids with um, the Beta on the field, which is like really strong because they have a Spell Trap Negate and a Guided Sons. But Cycle Readers, you require a four card combo to like play through it essentially. Yes, Ghost Bell can answer it, but this is just slightly more high impact. And because I play a multitude of hand traps, this paired with another hand trap is usually game. It also reduces their grind capability, so it's why I preferred it over Droll, even though... And, like, people are saying, well, Droll can hit other decks, so the thing is, like, what other deck am I really going to side Droll in against? Nothing really, so that's why I say, uh, decide with 3 side Greater. Uh, through Gamma Seal, this is actually really nice. Uh, Gamma Seal like allows you to just pick apart strikers going second because their main goal is to out resource you, grind you out, and make you lose resources. So the best way of doing that is to sit on an eagle booster, make sure the guy doesn't die, set up a couple of widow anchors or shark cannons, and they'll just win. If you Gamma Seal them, you turn off all their back row, you can just make your plays as normal, rip roar in their back row, and they kind of lose. They can't use a gauge effectively from their hand, and they have to have either rare rose or areas here to clear the Gamma Seal or make Zeke. So this is also just good against like uh, the Adagnister deck because my only engine out to Adagnister is Access Code Talker, but this also just outs a rival on its own, which is nice as well. Uh, two Skullmeister. I expected more Mirror Matches, so I wanted something that was higher impact than the Mirror Match. So Meister is like the second best card next to Ash and obviously Bell and Nib, but Bell and Nib are situational where you can play around both. Uh, for Meister, you can't really play around Meister and Ash if you go first because you have no way of like chain blocking your first kid unless you open the extender so it's kind of like you're up to like the variance of the chance there Meister was also just good against like other decks in general too it was good i cited it against tritron because when they put a name in the grave off their first name you can hit the second name and they can't make a play it also negates benson or a herald of uh arc light uh the third twin and two storms these are like the questionable cards i just wanted more back removal and it want a fair like more heavier decks also lightning storm let me out appaloosa and ip which is again one card like this deck is kind of weak to like unicorn and stuff like that so and then the last three cards are three judgment because post side everybody's going to be siding in twin twisters for you and you want to be able to protect your fusion spell going first uh for the extra deck i think it's like pretty standard except i played three dodo which i don't i know that's like kind of situational and questionable i played uh three miami three dodo one bow wow bark one rip and roaster one access good talker uh, one unicorn, one phoenix. So these were like the flexible ones, the access code, unicorn, and phoenix. I think unicorn's insane. Lets you make it to access code with three. 
Phoenix is nice because you can usually use it to like force a card and then it you can get it co-linked very nicely with their Dota or with their Miami, which is nice as well. Uh, Toad, I think it's super insane because it allows you to like push through like your second turn and not fair like never anything because you can just have it to negate. Um, and then with instant fusion, this card is just insane because if you open your combo with instant, you end with Toad on your board, which is nice. Uh, then the one battle, battle butler, one washer, one rocket ride. I know there's like a little, like very minuscule amount of fusions, but because of pranks, I can recycle very easily in the deck. So I never felt I needed them. I kind of wished I played Thunder Dragon Fusion, but then I would play double butler for that. Uh, hopefully you guys like this deck profile. Kind of sucks like I couldn't, I couldn't top, but you know, better luck next time, I guess. This is Justin from Penguin Nation and see you guys.